Hey friends, welcome to my channel Dental Edge. I am Dr. Bhanachuk. And today in this video, I'll be covering the topic internal resorption of tooth. Now, it's a commonly asked question as a short note, and there can be multiple viva, MCQ, or fill up the blanks from the same. So do watch the video till the end. Also, if you are new to my channel and you want to learn dental topics in a very simplified manner, do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Now, let's get started. Now, let's first see the other names for internal resorption of tooth. And uh, you should know these names since they are asked in viva. So, there is chronic perforating hyperplasia of pulp, internal granuloma, odontoclastoma, pink tooth of mummy. These are extremely important. Sometimes you can be asked what is odontoclastoma or in viva you can be asked what is pink tooth of mummy. So you should know that pink tooth of mummy is internal resorption of tooth. Now why is it called as an odontoclastoma or a pink tooth of mummy? Once I'll explain you the topic, you will understand it very nicely. So this internal resorption, it is an unusual type of tooth resorption. So it is a type of tooth resorption. What do you mean by the term resorption? Resorption means destruction or disappearance or dissolution of tissue or part. And what is the term? The term is internal resorption. So it is a type of resorption that begins centrally within the tooth. Therefore, the name internal resorption. So what is basically happening is if this is the tooth structure, there is peculiar inflammatory hyperplasia of the pulp. So see this is the pulp. This pulp, there is inflammatory hyperplasia. And this leads to resorption of the dentine. This is the dentine. So on the pulpal surface of the dentine, resorption will start. And it may lead to a narrow band of the dentine and if it it may also extend to the enamel. So basically there is internal resorption that is a resorption that is starting centrally from the pulp and which will lead to resorption of the dental tissues, dental heart tissues. Now the cause of this resorption is unknown. Sometimes presence of carious exposure and accompanying pulp exposure may be there. It is even possible that true internal resorption does not exist but it occurs as a result of invasion of pulp by granulation tissue arising in the periodontium. But overall the cause is unknown. Coming to the clinical features, usually there are no early clinical symptoms. The first evidence, this is important, the first evidence that you will notice is that there is a pink hued area on crown of tooth. Why? As I told you, the pulp will become hyperplastic and it will cause resorption of the dentine. Then maybe the enamel may reach up even up to the enamel. So there is thinning of the dental heart tissue. So this pinkish or uh, proliferative pulp, it will be visible from the crown structure. Therefore, a pink hued area is seen on the crown of the tooth. So if this is the tooth in the oral cavity, a pinkish hue may be uh, visible on the crown structure. If you can appreciate in this image, there is internal resorption occurring and this is the first clinical evidence that you will see in the crown. Now this brings us to the answer that why is it called as a pink tooth of mummy? First, because of the pink hue that is seen on the crown and it is named after Howard Mumry. Therefore, pink tooth of Mumry. Now, when this internal resorption, it begins in the root, no significant clinical finding because you cannot see the root. It will be present within the periodontium. So, if this internal resorption is occurring within the root, then there will be no clinical finding. So, internal resorption, it usually involves single tooth. Sometimes, multiple tooth may be involved. And any tooth can be involved and any jaw can be involved. Coming to the radiographic features, round or ovoid radiolucent area in central portion of tooth. So if you can appreciate here, this is a resorption that is taking place in the root structure and there is a round or ovoid radiolucent area in central portion. 
This radiolucency, it is associated with pulp but not external surface of tooth, right? Unless it is of so long standing that such a perforation has taken place. But in normal cases, it is not long standing and the perforation has not, not taken place. It will appear as a ovoid or radiolucent area in central portion of tooth. Coming to the histopathologic features, now if you know the basic features, you will be able to remember the histopathology very nicely. Again, the resorption of inner or pulpal surface of dentine. So, if this is the tooth structure and this is the pulp and this is the dentine, on the pulpal surface of dentine, resorption will take place. Now, on the slide, what will you see? Now, this is an H and D section of the tooth showing internal resorption and uh, this is the pulp and this is the dentine. So, there is resorption of inner or pulpal surface of dentine. So, which is the inner surface? This is the inner surface of dentine. This inner surface, it is undergoing resorption. Then what will, this is the second point, proliferating pulpal tissue fills the defect. So, this is the pulpal tissue which is hyperplastic and it is proliferating and it fills the defect that is caused by the resorption. Then, resorption is of irregular lacunar variety. What do you mean by lacuna? Lacuna are gaps, correct? So, these, the resorption is of lacunar. Can you appreciate these lacunae here? These are the lacunae and these lacunae, they are filled with either osteoclast or odontoclast. Now, what do you mean by an odontoclast? As the name suggests, clast means something that resorbs, a cell that resorbs and which, which tissue it is resorbing? Odonto, that is a cell that is resorbing dental tissues. So, there is presence of odontoclast. These are multinucleated cells present within the lacunae. If you can appreciate here, this is a multinucleated cell, again a multinucleated cell occupying the lacunae. So, odontoclast. Uh, cells that are resorbing the dental tissue are present within lacunae like structures. Now, as I told you, the other name is odontoclastoma and why is it called so? As we have already seen, there is presence of odontoclast. Therefore, the name odontoclastoma. Last is pulp shows chronic inflammation. So, what all we saw, if you can appreciate in this image, this is the pulp this is the dentine, this is the pulpal surface of dentine, this is the pre-dentine and here the resorption is taking place in a lacunar pattern. These lacunae are occupied by the odontoclast and the pulp is showing inflammation. That is the presence of inflammatory cells, hematoma formation is there, right? Now some additional points are sometimes alternating resorption and repair are seen. That is, lacunae in dentine, they are filled partially or completely with irregular dentine or osteodentine which itself undergo resorption. Now, if this internal resorption is occurring in the crown, dentine may be resorbed into a narrow band followed by enamel as I already told you. In case of root, if this is the pulp, there is dentine outside and then cementum, right? So, in case of root, it will first resorb the dentine followed by the cementum if the tooth is left untreated. And it may even lead to complete resorption and the tooth may be separated from the apical portion. Coming to the treatment, RCT is a successful treatment if it is discovered before crown or root perforation. Right? So, first line, first is RCT. Second is if perforation has taken place, that is the resorption is so long standing that the part has got perforated, then extraction is done. And sometimes it will suddenly regress, that is there will be no progress or repair by deposition of calcified tissue. So friends, we are done with internal resorption of tooth. I hope this lecture helps you. If you have any suggestion or feedback, do let me know in the comment box. And it takes lots of effort to make such videos. Your one like can give me lots of encouragement. So do like my video, subscribe to my channel and keep watching. Thank you.